One is just the realm of manifestation and effects, and one is the plane of causality, but they're eternally connected and ultimately one at the, at the highest fundamental level of consciousness. See, and that's part of duality itself, is Organic thinking that here. these things are separate. All right, this is what and, you know, we have to completely here. reject one in order to know anything about the other, and that's not the case. I'm that's digging the a, whole, uh, that's what the pro process of, that's what the force of fear a, a wants people to believe and here. accept. That these things aren't integrated. The spiritual and the material realms. Because it's all about free will. Whether we will accept personal responsibility to learn and know the truth and then put it into practice in our lives or whether we're going to continue to reject that. And the people who have rejected it the most, and again, this is something people don't want to hear. They want to be apologists for people who lay down their personal responsibility and hand it to another and tell another person that you own me now. Yeah, you own me. I'm owned by you. I do your bidding. I follow orders. I follow commands. The people in slide number 14 the police and military, the people who are responsible for all of the atro human atrocities that have ever happened in the three-dimensional world that we call the Earth. Mass suffering and mass executions and mass graves and all kinds of other human atrocities. You follow it throughout history. Just do the work. Get a long view of history by studying. And you'll see every single place where any complete human tragedy in terms of mass murder has ever taken place it has always been done by military and police yet these people think that they're the people who are doing good they think that they can do good by abdicating person by other people abdicating personal responsibility to them this is why this dynamic always occurs for the very reason that responsibility is being abdicated that's why nature's handing us this scenario and situation of police states throughout time. We as a people don't want to step up and take personal responsibility to protect ourselves. And you know how you do that? You teach natural law. That's how you do that. You teach morality. To the people who think that they're doing any good by being in the military or being in the police, I have this to say directly to you. You will never, ever, ever do anything that is good or orderly for society until you stop doing what you are doing and start doing what I am doing. I'm saying that directly. Stop and start doing what I'm doing law and teach like I'll second that so anyway um, I'm trying to get this part right here I don't know if you can see it cut out deep. so when the water starts cutting over uh, through the spillway there I don't have to get back in here and dig this out so Hey, if you like what you were hearing there on the uh, talk radio there, you can tune into to uh, 94.3 in Elgin, Texas. It's a community radio station that airs some of the best, I would say, uh, talk radio out there, enlightened stuff. And uh, I guess I could put my face in the camera. And you can also go to thelonestarlegend.com. And, and hear the same stuff because 94.3 airs what the Lone Star Legend runs on the internet. So it's all one and the same. It comes from the same studio. And uh, I have the liberty to pick and choose what I, I run without having money involved. So I can definitely say I'm seeking the truth and there's no money involved. So if you ever hear any commercials on the Lone Star Legend, it's because I'm doing that commercial for free. And I, uh, I'm supporting people that support me. So if you hear anything 
run on the Lone Star Legend is because I'm supporting that person. So I think more people need to understand the difference between man's law and natural law um, and responsibility and not having the uh, or passing the responsibility on and a, a good thing about um, your insurance, you know, that's passing responsibility on in your car insurance. And a lot of people say, well, you know, you know, you're not responsible if you don't have car insurance. Well, I want to disagree because um, you're not responsible for your own actions if you're uh, paying somebody $30 a month and then drive down the road texting on your new iPhone and have a wreck. That is, uh, there's a difference between liability, strict liability, and what's the word I'm looking for? Limited liability. Strict liability is you're responsible for your own actions. So that means I'm strictly liable for what I do. I don't drive down the, or travel down the road and text. Now somebody that would be texting down the road and have car insurance and have an accident and pay their $250 deductible, that's limited liability. They've passed that liability on to somebody else. And what happens there? When somebody else that is strictly liable like me is forced to pay for that person's actions, whether or not I was uh, irresponsible. And that's, uh, that's the difference between man's law and God's law, or nature's law. Um, nature's law is not forced at the barrel of a gun. Man's law is all reinforced and enforced at the barrel of a gun. So think about that for a second. A true natural law does not need force behind it to, uh, to have any substance to it. And there's no monetary gain behind natural law versus man's law, it's nothing but revenue generating. So think about that the next time you go get car insurance or homeowner's insurance or all these things that we are forced to do by man. It's not there to help you. It's there to help somebody else in the end. So uh, another thing I'm going to leave you with is I always like to think for myself and uh, question authority. If you think for yourself, you won't have somebody else thinking, doing the thinking for you and then charging you the difference. And that's in any aspect of life, whether it's fixing your car, cutting your own hair, or anything you can do with your own mind and body. Just like this, what I'm doing here, I'm doing it myself instead of paying somebody. But just remember, think for yourself or somebody else is going to do the thinking for you and charge you the difference. OrganicMike.com, subscribe if you like.